Hello and welcome to Benislove Academy. So in this video we're going to dive through uh, a simple IDS made in Python, so an intrusion detection system. This one is a very simple one that is just to illustrate the concept of an actual IDS. IDS uh, can be found in various different uh, ways. There are those simple ones, very simple ones, which is probably this one, and then there are highly complex ones which has a lot of configuration, a lot of logic, even uses some AI in order to see when your system is actually being attacked or when somebody is trying to intrude upon that system. But here we have just a very simple one that is just going through an example log file and then will alert us in case there are somebody that is trying to brute force their way through uh, our SSH uh, server. So basically we have our auth file here. So this is just example. Uh, it's nothing valid, but just to illustrate how this works, we have a lot of failed uh, attempts to log in for the user admin, uh, root, guest. So basically somebody is trying to brute force their way through with a, diff a lot of different usernames. It's coming from uh, the same IP in some of the cases, so the one ending at 10. Then we have a few ones coming from, from the IP ending at 20. We have uh, a few other ones. Uh, coming in from 30 and so on. This is just to illustrate that we also have an actual valid login here coming from a whole different IP. So here we see that somebody is brute forcing and somebody is actually uh, only trying a few times, meaning that they will not trigger our particular ideas here because we have some threshold that you need to go uh, above in order for us to actually be alerted on it. But so let's see how, how this is configured. So the script that we have here. First, it identifies what file to look for. In a real scenario, this would be like a real-time log file, meaning that your IDS will be monitoring 24-7, uh, hopefully, the logs coming in from your particular network or wherever you have set this up. Because then it will continuously monitor for uh, behaviors it should uh, trigger on. But here we have just identified a static log file that is uh, static, meaning nothing will be written to this, it's an example. Then we have defined the regex, so this is the simple logic for what our ideas here will be looking for. It basically looks for failed passwords for a particular user and then um, a matching uh, IP, meaning that the normal uh, IP v4 format. Then we have a threshold, meaning that the amount of times this weird behavior of failed logins should uh, be uh, written down before it actually gets triggered and then we have a 60 second meaning one minute time frame meaning that if you try to log in with a failed password more than five times within one minute our ideas will be triggered if you do this more uh, covertly so more, more on a uh, under the radar kind of approach where you just try a few times every minute then you'll actually not be uh, noticed by our system here but again you can adjust these this is just an example then we have a simple method here that will print whenever an alert has been raised somebody is trying to log in with a pass a false password it will just say alert multiple failed logins attempts from and then the particular IP then we have uh, the log uh, file that we're going to read so here we just open the log file then we uh, will go through each of the line and here we have just put in a simple uh, sleep uh, function in order to simulate a real uh, time log because if we didn't have this it would just quickly bam and then had read it the entire log but here we want to simulate things being written to the log so when we uh, start or execute this method here it will not come instantly it will take a few seconds for it to uh, give us all the alerts that we have uh, been looking for and then we have the main method of course that is going to do uh, the combination of all the logic. So here it uh, searches for the line that has been put in here. So we have the uh, particular line, we have a current time and yeah, we'll get to the time later. But here we take the line, then we do a regex on it. So basically we'll be using the regex over here, look for the failed password in order for us to identify the IP. Then if we found a match, meaning that something matched this particular regex here, then we will take the IP out of that match. So the first IP group, meaning this one, in case you add more complex regexes, you can have uh, multiple uh, groups here 
for now we have the IP that we're looking for. So we take the IP and then we will append it upon uh, the list of failed attempts uh, and uh, we'll take the current time. So we'll add the IP and the time this in order for us to know when this was added to uh, our list here because we will only uh, trigger if it has been uh, triggered five times within the last minute. Then here we'll basically look uh, for all uh, uh, IPs that has been in our array here for longer than uh, the actual minute, so the time window here. So we need to see that the particular IP is not going above the one minute because then we'll just remove it such that we will not trigger uh, five hours from now if somebody tried to log in. That could be legitimately, let's say you log in three times, you mistype your password, then the next day you might log in again two times where you mistype it and then suddenly you will be triggered here. But that is in most cases not an actual attack, it's just a clumsy user. So we only want to be aware of when somebody is proof reporting because that will probably happen quite rapidly, meaning that a lot of events will be triggered within a particular minute. So basically here we just remove any older entries. Then we check if the length uh, of the uh, IP uh, failed attempts of that particular IP is uh, above or equal to our threshold, meaning 5 here. If it is, we'll make an alert, call this line here, just a simple print, and then we'll remove that IP from the, uh, the failed attempts because we have already given that alert. So we only want to act upon this alert and print it again in case somebody tries again to do this five or more times with the same IP. And basically here, it's our main method that will just activate everything we have here. So it will just print a simple uh, line saying that we are simulating uh, log ideas monitoring from the log file. And then it will just uh, loop over each of the line from this. And then of course here we have the time of when this is actually executed. So let's try to see this in action. So if we execute this, now it says that we are simulating ideas. It alerted us on a failed login attempt on this IP. And again, it alerted us on multiple failed attempts from this particular IP. And if we go into our log file, we'll see that this is the first one. So we had this uh, five times in total. Then we have three times from the 20. Then we have another user trying to log in from a new IP, but then within a given at the same minute, basically, a new uh, two new attempts come in, meaning that we now trigger for this particular line. We could also decrease the amount of threshold in order for us to, for example, trigger on more uh, IPs. So if we just say this to two, then we can run this again. And as you see here, it's triggering multiple times now on these because remember that we cleared the lock after we have uh, cast an alert. And since we had five times in a row for this IP and this one, it cleared uh, the list, but then quickly again added up to two or more and then uh, triggered once again. But this time we also got uh, an alert from this particular IP because there were two failed attempt at the end of this uh, log here. So this is a way for you to experience and test and learn about ideas and, and how they actually work. And from here you can basically extend upon this, you can add uh, even more regex, you can try to monitor uh, logs from your own network and then make uh, a simple ideas that is uh, tailored towards what you see in your log and then play around it with it in that way. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe and then I will see you next time here on Vinslow Academy.